The Oshun Ushubo Sacred Grove, one of the last sacred forests in Nigeria, along the banks of the Oshun River, just outside the city of Oshubo, Oshun State. On this 75 hectares of undisturbed land, no residential building is allowed, no killing of animals, no fishing, no hunting or felling of trees. The endangered white throated monkeys here move around undisturbed. It's one of its kind in sub Sahara Africa and the second UNESCO World Heritage Site in Nigeria. The kind of people or crowd that comes around, one would be marveled why this. But it is a festival and a river that people believe in. The path leading through the grove is lined with sanctuaries and murals of traditional Yoruba deities. Through the unrelenting effort of the late Austrian artist Susan Wenger, the grove was designated a World Heritage Site in 2005. Wenger devoted some 50 years of her life to preserving the forest, and with the help of local craftsmen, she transformed the grove into a sculptural garden. Mama would do the heart with meditating, you know, like communication with the deity before uh, doing any form of art. And Mama got her inspiration, you know, from there because she stayed there for a while. She is so powerful and mystic that if she sleeps, revelations of what she is expected to do for this place will come to her. The inner part of the grove lies within a natural depression, marking the first palace of the traditional leader of Oshobo. The ancient palace has remained in its original state for decades. A short walk away is the Oshun River, the most important place of the grove and what believers say is the abode of the Oshun River goddess. Everything about the Oshun Grove revolves around this river. It's like the life of this place. You take it away, the entire place becomes lifeless. This is where the history of the grove actually started from. And every year, thousands of devotees of the Oshun Goddess converge by the bank of this river, where they pray, believing that all of their problems will be solved by the goddess. Despite the sanctity attached to the grove, managing it is not without its own challenges. We do have butchers, and uh, that's why the native laws that we do use to operate, because here you are not supposed to hunt. If you are caught, you'll be taken to the enforcement agency through the authority of Shobo. And uh, because of developmental pressure, as the town grows, you are bound to see people wanting to build closer to the site, thereby giving you problems. Despite the gradual fading away of celebrated African culture and tradition, the Oshun Oshobo Grove is one heritage site that has stood the test of time. The grove remains more or less pristine, leaving visitors with a sense of tranquility, serenity, and a connection to the ancient Yoruba tradition. Deji Bademasi, CGTN, Oshun Oshobo Sacred Grove, Southwest Nigeria.